Hi everyone, we begin tonight with a shooting that has left one man in serious condition at Vanderbilt Medical Center. He was shot earlier today in South Nashville. News Channel 5's John Cole Newland is live outside the South Police Precinct where the victim was taken this afternoon. John Cole, can you tell us why he was taken there? Yeah, good evening. Well, the shooting happened about a half mile down the road on Harding Place at the Thrifty Inn. A witness brought the shooting victim here to get help. Never know what you may encounter. Elizabeth Ford was one of a few inside. And we noticed this gentleman come running in the building at a fast pace, and it, you know, it kind of you freeze. You don't know what's going on. Outside, Jeff Cunningham had just pulled up with 29 year old Raymond Crump, who had been shot and was on the edge of consciousness. When we got there, he started to blink, said, I'm pass out, I'm gonna die. I said, No, you're not. It woke him up, you know. Just a few minutes before, Crump and another man were arguing outside of a room at the Thrifty Inn, about a half mile away from the precinct. As Crump began to walk away, the gunman pulled out his firearm and shot him. Or went in through his, below his shoulder blade. Cunningham was downstairs asleep at the time. I woke up to a loud, loud, loud argument upstairs. And then before you, before you know it, I heard a gunshot and everything went quiet. Witnesses believe the two were not strangers. Yeah, they knew each other. It was over a female. Authorities at the precinct called an ambulance and Crump was taken to Vanderbilt Medical Center in serious condition. And they did get a help for him really fast. Down the road, the hunt for the gunman was on. Officers found him at a nearby McDonald's. Uh, he still had the handgun with him. A handgun police say was reported stolen after a July home burglary. Police identified the suspect as 42-year-old Medrick Elliott, a man with a long criminal history. In April, he was convicted of aggravated burglary and has previous convictions of domestic assault and drug possession. Elliot was booked on two outstanding warrants. He now faces a slew of new charges, including aggravated assault. Live outside the South Nashville Precinct, I'm John Newland, News Channel 5.